I'm back. You're back. Let's talk books. Today, I want to talk about The Lost City of Z. It is totally worth a recommendation. It is kind of amazing. It's been made into a movie, and I have no ability to vouch for this movie. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. I don't know anything about the movie. I will recommend the book, though, however, because it is spectacular. It tells the story of Percy Fawcett, is uh, he was an explorer from the late 1800s and early 1900s who wanted to chart and map the Amazon rainforest and look for what he believed was an ancient lost city in the Amazon rainforest. If you know anything kind of like about the Amazon and the history of archaeology, you sort of understand how tricky it is because the Amazon rainforest is a crazy fast growing environment. So if you think about how the fact that like post Columbus, smallpox spreads throughout South and North America, in some cases to the extent of 90% of the population was wiped out. And this would have had a devastating effect. Imagine that 90% of your population just died tomorrow. Um, that would be that would be cataclysmic for you. You wouldn't have people to make your food, you wouldn't have people to pave your roads, you wouldn't have people to manage the sewage treatment facilities. Your entire world would be vastly upset by this. Fawcett was one of the early explorers that really, really tried to understand that and tried to kind of recognize that you know, the fact that we can't see in the Amazon, the fact, the fact that the Amazon grows out of control, there could have been a sophisticated and massive population. So Fawcett ventured into the Amazon uh, multiple times, and he tried to do things that other people weren't willing to do. Instead of kind of taking a large group of people into the forest, he would take really small groups, like him and two other guys, or three other guys sometimes. He would just walk in the rainforest. Uh, he went for it. And so this tells the story of, of a number of his adventures. Uh, one of the guys he explores with ends up getting sick and then his like leg is all like full of maggots and it's disgusting. And uh, that is, despite the fact that it's a horribly gross chapter, is also like a friggin' awesome chapter. It's really fascinating. So he goes on these multiple journeys into the Amazon rainforest to try to find the lost city that he calls Z, and his very last adventure in the, I believe, the 1920s, he takes his son and his son's best friend and himself, and they go off, and it's their final, like, we are going to find the lost city of Z, and we are going to be, this is, this is our last chance to do it, and they never come back and nobody ever hears from them again. The, the fascinating thing about Fawcett is that because of his adventure, because of his like getting lost in the forest, numerous other groups of people have gone on to try to find him, and the world is kind of like enraptured by his story, as is the author of this particular book. The, the hunt for the lost city of Z is sort of kind of linked to the lost city of El Dorado as well, and the whole book itself sort of explores this idea of exploration and trying to uh, make a name for yourself and trying to map the world and also sort of like think about understanding the world when we didn't have access to Google Earth and Google Maps and everything else to solve all of our problems. And in actual fact, like a lot of the, the issues that are raised in this particular book still continue to be problems because the Amazon rainforest is such a dense and, and rapidly growing rainforest that even our sophisticated technology of the 21st century doesn't really have all the answers when it comes to whether or not there was uh, a huge civilization in the Amazon. And so uh, it tells sort of the story of his obsession and the obsession that it kind of passed on from him to person after person after person, all the way up to this guy, and then potentially on to the readers of this book, because you cannot help but kind of become like curious about Fawcett and, and his exploration and, and what happened in the Amazon. And could there have been a lost city of Z? Is there still maybe a lost city of Z? And it does look like there probably was. Um, big expansive civilization in the Amazon rainforest that we really really don't understand and maybe we we won't because um, archaeological evidence requires kind of like perfect 
uh, environmental conditions to last a long time, and you do not find those in the Amazon rainforest generally. And so uh, I would really, really recommend you to, to pick this book up. It is by far one of the best non-fiction books that I have read in 2016. I couldn't put it down. So if you got some like Christmas money that you're like, oh, I want to go get a book, get this one because you're going to like it. I almost guarantee